No, men, see, a child is crying, you don't cry with the child. <laughs> the ancient rishis also said, you know, uh, those days they blessed women. The blessing that they used to give for women is, have ten children and make your husband the eleventh child. <laughs> Treat your husband also as one among the children. That means you be big and children make mistake and then you know, you, you take it in. Patim ekadasham kriti, dashaputravati vab. Have ten kids and make your husband the eleventh kid. So, see it that way. See that, oh, he's going through some negativity, that's okay. He'll come out of it. He has his low moods, he has his bad time, he'll get out of it. You, know, you have that attitude, then you don't get sucked into it. I've seen many women has supported their husband to get out of their gloomy mood. Many, many women. They have been very strong. Those one of the spouse is shaky, the other is very well founded in knowledge, they are able to pull them back on the path. Yeah. Instead of agreeing with their and say, oh poor thing, I agree with you, yeah you are right, and then you both think. Yeah. <laughs> that is no good. So if one is singing, okay, he's, he's going through his, his bad time. Okay, he'll be all of it. I'm, I'm there here to support. You know, do you see that? That there is such a big difference in the attitude. That keeps you aloof as well as keeps you caring. When I say um, separate yourself from, that doesn't mean not to be caring. You see, be caring is one thing and get involved or sucked into their mood is another thing. Yeah. Mothers will be the best example. See, mother doesn't uh, start crying with the kid. <laughs> Just imagine a kid is crying and a mother also goes, ah. <laughs> Just imagine that, you know. It looks so weird and awkward, right? Yeah.